Well, hi friends, and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I have a slight obsession with hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. I love little fat things, to be completely honest. And hummingbirds are just so whimsical, they're magical, and beautiful. Just the colors that they have and their feathers and... They're just such a magical, magical creature. And I feel very fortunate because over the past week, I've had visits from the same little hummingbird every single day throughout the day. And he loves to hang out right in front of my office window downstairs. So while I'm working, I can actually watch him sit on the feeder and just go to town on the sugar water that I put in there. And I thought, well, let's use him as some inspiration to try out some of the new art supplies that I've recently purchased. So I wanna show you guys what I did, what I used, and hopefully it inspires you to look around your house, see if you have birds, plants, flowers, or anything like that, that you can incorporate into your artwork. So I hope you enjoy. So not too long ago, I hung a new hummingbird feeder in front of my office window, and I noticed this little guy. He's been hanging out with me pretty much every single day since I got that feeder. He's not scared of me. I can get right up close to him. He's even there in the snow. I couldn't believe it. He just loves hanging out at our house. So for this piece, I decided to try out something that came in one of my recent sketch box boxes <laughs> to be completely repetitive. It's the Strathmore oil painting linen, linen finish paper. Um, this is just like a little sample size. It's only four by six inches. It has 10 sheets, but I love the texture and the finish of this paper. It's really meant for like oil pastels and oil paints, but I love using watercolor on it. It gives it some really nice texture and it's just really cool. It has some really cool effects. So to start out with, and you'll notice I'm going to use a variety of materials on this piece, I am going to use my Daniel Smith watercolors. I'm just going to go in and give the background a nice wash. I love that turquoise blue. It's very earthy but vibrant at the same time. And just to give it some added interest, some extra texture, I'm going in and I'm just going to blot up some of that water. And it almost looks like tie-dye, this paper. It's really sweet. So for this, I am going to try out this bamboo pen that I picked up in Seattle. Maybe you saw that in my last video. And I took a picture of my hummingbird just to use as a reference. And to draw him, I'm gonna use this bamboo pen dipped in my acrylic ink because I love that it dries and it will stay put. It's not gonna react to the water. I can just paint over it and I won't have to worry about bleeding. I've really taken to using this bamboo tool, this bamboo pen, because it creates super organic lines. And I also feel like it takes the pressure out of having to draw perfectly because it's really hard to, to be honest, because it's not like a ballpoint pen. It doesn't have like the perfect uh, line every single time. So sometimes the line's gonna be chunky, sometimes it'll be thin. It's a really cool way to add interest to your line work. And it also takes the pressure off you because who wants to be perfect, right? All that matters is that we're arting and having fun. Now here's where I started to get a little wild and crazy. I thought, you know what? Let's bust out those Tombow markers and give them a try. Let's see how they look on this paper. And they did work pretty well. I liked how they were pigmented. The colors came through really nice. But in the end, as you'll see, I ended up going over them with another art material. So that's okay. Live and learn. It's all about trial and error, figuring out what works with what surfaces and having fun. Like I said, can't say that enough. Now I know many of you are gonna recognize this bad boy. That is a Jane Davenport mermaid marker. And I decided to use that for his head because he's got this beautiful shade of magenta. And this one has a little bit of shimmer mixed into the marker. So I like that. We can always use more shimmer in our pieces. For the tail, I just went back in with another Tombow marker to give it some uh, darkness, some shadow. 
And then I realized he needs some white. We need something to break up all that green and the black line, which ultimately I wish I wouldn't have gone in with my bamboo pen and the ink because I think there's just kind of too much black in there. So I went over it with a white pastel pencil just to give it some highlights. And it also kind of created a neat textural effect to make it look like he has feathers. But again, as you'll see, we eventually just cover that completely up. <laughs> These pastel pencils, by the way, handled really nicely on this oil painting paper, this linen finish. They blended well. It was smooth. If you wanted to leave it kind of textural, you could. Handled just fine. So this came in my sketch box as well. This is a uh, oil pastel. So I just wanted to use a little bit down there because he had a little speck of orange on his head and underneath his chin. And then I liked how well it handled on this paper and I thought, okay, let's just go ahead and cover him all up with that green. So as you can see, all those layers that I just showed you were kind of for nothing, but not really, right? I experimented, I learned, and that's okay. So even though I used a ton of materials that ultimately I could have skipped and done without, I learned a lot and I have this beautiful finished piece. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna frame this and put it in my office so I can remember my little buddy always, even when he's not there. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And in the meantime, don't forget to art.